One of the things that artists struggle with the most is learning how to do theory and how to work on that. How do you work on intervals? You know, and it's also kind of the most boring thing that we do. So when people get into theory, they're like, I don't want to do that. I want to sing songs. But if you want to sing songs better, intervals and theory really matters a lot. One of the best ways to practice that is making it fun and also making it applicable to whatever you're doing. For me, I'm a guitar player and I was a singer-songwriter, so working on theory became making it part of how I used my instrument, both of them, my voice and my guitar. So if I play an E chord like this, E, the low E, and, the, and on a piano or a guitar is one or do. So one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. E major scale or the do, re, mi scale for all the people who enjoy solfege. So one, two, three, or do, re, mi. And I can go one, two, one, two, three, one, three, three, two, one, three, two, one, two, three, 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 two, 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 three, five, five. Everything that we sing has a corresponding interval value to it. So if you really want to have some fun, make up, make up numbers and try to do the notes that go with the numbers or do the notes that go with the scale. One, two, three, three, four, five, five, four, three, two, one, five, three, one, three, five, eight. Every song has an interval. Every melody has a scale.